Hey guys, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com. We're going to take a look at another uh, Windows Phone 7 program. This one is called Polyglot. So let's check it out. Here we go. We're starting it. Starts up really quickly. And we have our choices of languages over here and what we want to translate it to over here. And you can flick and uh, scroll these guys. So I'm going to choose English up there. And I will type and you notice I'm not getting any prediction in this keyboard, which is unfortunate. Okay. And then you press this button down here. See here are the buttons. That's what they mean. This one is going to translate it. and it is selecting Lithuanian but we can change what language we want to translate to now you notice this button is grayed out what does that one mean again? pronounce so we're unable to pronounce that language but we can pronounce other languages translating dot 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 there we go and now up here you see and we heard it Let's try a couple other languages. Kind of a robotic voice. So that works pretty well. There's no uh, history, so you can't really save translations that you use often. Um, this languages button, well, that just kind of collapses them in case you're only going to be translating from English to one language. You get more room. So that's kind of cool. And this swap button will switch between uh, what language you want to translate from and to. So right now we're translating English to Korean, so that would just swap it. And that's about it for the uh, polyglot. Not bad. Not great. Could be better. But uh, there you go. Nice design. That's it for now.